Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Carnivore and Cholesterol. Yes, I had my labs done. Um, today is Thursday, February 13th. I had my labs done. I went in at 6 a.m. on Tuesday and I did not do any Dave Feldman um, protocols to lower my cholesterol. In fact, I had a great big steak the night before for my OMAD. Oh, well. <laughs> so anyway, um, I go to see my doctor next week. So that's why I had my labs done. And I had all of them done. And um, But Blue Cross Blue Shield, if you're a senior and you have that supplement with your Medicare, they will come out to the house. The doctor comes out to the house and does um, a physical and goes all over all your lab work and all your blah, 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 blah. So it's very, very interesting. And the thing that I want to say first is my, my carnivore friend, June, got a rebounder. And I think her BFF, Tracy, got one also. And he said, excuse me, if you're diagnosed with osteoporosis, doing 10 minutes a day on the rebounder is as good as taking Fosamax, which is a, um, a uh, osteo porosis pill that did not agree with my little belly and um but I ended up with the prolia prolia and um yeah I, I'm still not a fan of any of that stuff so I just got my cholesterol results for um February 2020 and the last time I had all my labs done was February 2019 so I'm going to hold it up here. You can see my results from this year to last year. This year's lab work did not list a ratio, and I know there's a way to do it, but I don't know. I'm sure somebody below will tell me, and it's probably going to be Dupuy. So um, he thought everything looked great, and I got the cholesterol lecture. He says, it's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. You know what the number one killer of women is. And I said, heart disease. And he said, yes, and this is something that could kill you, your cholesterol. He said, um, that's what causes heart disease. He did not say inflammation. He did not say sugar. He did not say anything else. But he said that he's telling me everything that he would tell his mother. I mean, he was a very nice man. He's a vegan. And he said he has a very um, exacting sort of food plan. He eats frequently. Um, he does this once every two weeks. Otherwise, he has a practice. And so, um, like today, he's scheduled seven appointments with Blue Cross Blue Shield seniors and for their free exam. And so he didn't tell me to have blood work or anything. It's just what they do. And he had all the information because this is my third or fourth time I've had it done because once you turn 65 and you get the supplement, it happens. So, okay, so my total cholesterol last year at this time was 455. This year, it's 371. So it went down 84 points. Now to me, this is great. Um, I'm a hyper responder. If you listen to Dave Feldman and any other um, people, but I think he's the one that coined that term. My HDL, the good stuff, was 107 last year. It's 105 this year. Last year at this time, I was keto with heavy meat influence, um, you know, leaning towards heavier meat, but I wasn't a carnivore like I am now. My triglycerides last year were 73. This year, they're 61. And my LD, LDL estimate last year was 330 and this year 249. So um, it's lowered 80 points on that too. But he was very, very serious slash concerned about me not being on a statin. He, his mother didn't want to take one either. She's apparently my age, around my age. And so he convinced her um, and she took it. And she had horrible cramps in her in her calves, 
And so um, he said, well, why don't you just cut down on the dose, right? <clears throat> so she did, and she hasn't had any cramps since. Where's my voice? <laughs> Nothing here on my voice. And um, so he said, trust me, if she still had cramps, she'd let me know, but she hasn't had any. So th those are my readings. I'm delighted with them. Um, you know, he, I, I don't even know how to argue. You know, I just said, I don't necessarily believe in the information about cholesterol. And he said, well, I wish you didn't say you don't believe in it. If you had some facts and you could state them, it would make me feel better or at least give you something, you know, something so we could talk about this, but just not believing in taking a statin, um, you should have more going for you. And I said, well, I really appreciate your presentation. It was a good one. Um, it still didn't convince me. And it's so funny because now all I eat is meat and it's gone down the 80 points, 84 points. So anyway, I'm very excited about it. All the rest of the stuff looked good. My liver, my this, my that. He said, when people take a statin, the concern is that it could mess with their liver function. And he said, you have very normal, regular liver function. So you probably would not have a problem. And so that, I just wanted to send this off to you being a hyper responder, but yet it's improved with my carnivory diet. And um, yeah. So here I am. I hope you guys have a good afternoon and uh, I'm getting ready for my my um, country ribs and my ribeye steak for my meal. And then I'm going to go to bed and get up and work at the police department. <laughs> so thank you for this. Just a little bonus on my um, a bonus on the blood work. Thanks for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Carnivore, and it's working for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye for now.